everyone it's nicole welcome back to my channel relax cut glue if you're new here welcome i'm so happy to have you all here with me today <sighs> hold on i'm out of breath i am not feeling very well but i'm in good spirits so don't worry about me um whew, i took a covid test this morning and it came back negative i'm wearing cozy jammies <laughs> I don't feel good. Today I'm gonna to be playing in my little book that I made out of a Dollar Tree paper bag. I love these little like glue book journals and stuff. So I'm gonna play in these. I have um, two layouts that I came up with. And I'm going to start with one of them right now. I have a donut, a spoon, a teacup, and some flowers. And then I want to use this as my background. I got this paper from this book, End Paper Collection. It has 20 sheets, two designs of each, and they're double-sided, really nice papers. And then the images I got today are from Portos Book. I love this one. It's been on sale for about $11, which is a smoking good deal considering how big this cut and collage book is. Just to give you a little idea, that it is a big collage book. So very good deal. Probably one of the best deals out there right now. Um, but I want to use this. So I want to find a pa page that doesn't have... I mean, I could just use partially this, not the whole thing. You know, if I wanted to like tear it or something, but I think I kind of just want to use, I think I'll just go with the whole thing. So I'm just going to pick a page that has white on the background. So a lot of times, like when junk journalers, they don't like, like, at least in my experience, it seems like most people like to have a double-sided page. Whereas I like when I'm glue booking, if I have a decorative page on this side, I like to keep the other side white because then I can put like a full page magazine sheet or some paper. It just gives me some more creative space to do whatever I want. Whereas like this, I would hate to have to cover up my colored paper. I would do it. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just easier when it's a white background. So like when I make glue books, you'll see that I always leave a white background because that gives me more space to play. So I'm just going to glue this on here. I'm just going to use a piece of scrapbook paper behind it. This is what I, you can see I've used it for this before. Butt that right up against the spine there. And I'm just going to glue right onto my paper because I feel like that's a lot easier than gluing on this and then sticking it on this. So the reason why I use a paper behind it is for two reasons. Or parchment paper, whatever you have to put behind your page. Is because... One, I don't want to get glue on the paper that's behind it, but also I can go off the page and get all the way to the edge. Does that make sense? Whereas if I was trying to be careful, I might go up to the edge, but not be able to get right off the edge. So I can go off a little bit and make sure that every ounce of the edge is covered, which is important to me because I don't want my paper to lift there and then maybe rip. So that's why I do it this way so that I can get... Um, all that all the surfaces okay almost got it all and we're good okay so then I just slide this out before I put my paper down and the reason why I do that is because there is glue on here and I don't want this paper to stick to this paper that would be a disaster okay um I'm just going to turn it. Well, wait, now I'm all upside down. Okay, so this is the front. Okay, I'm going to go this way. So I'm just going to kind of set it right in the spine there. Put it down. Give it a nice little crease. Or crease. <laughs> smooth. Smooth it down. I'll use my little thing here. Oh, look, a little pug just came to visit. Hello. That was sent to me in a happy mail, and I was using some of those yesterday in my glue crew video. I did a really long glue crew video yesterday where I did a a Q and A um, answering questions that they have asked that they asked me. It was really fun. I definitely want to do it again. I wasn't able to get to every single question, and the video was an hour long, so <laughs> uh, I definitely want to try again. Okay, how do I want to do this? <laughs> okay, and we're trimming. Okay, and we're cutting. 
Boop. I've got Sherman in here. You probably hear him snoring over there. Okay. I always go back over once I have cut just to make sure that all my pieces are actually laying down and good. Wow, this looks like it was just in the signature. That is a very loud airplane. Okay. Zena's probably going to come running in here now. <laughs> Okay, so now I have that. So what I want to do is, I have this teacup. Oh, I was right, here she is. And I'm gonna put it right here, but I cut a little slit into it, and I had this, um, these flowers that were in there. I left some of the white down here because that's what I'm going to tuck into the little slit, like so. So I could have them kind of going over to the side like that, or oops, or have them going more straight up and down. I think I'll keep them going more straight up and down like that. So I'm just going to flip this over. Oops, I think I moved it a little bit, let's check. Oh no, that's good, okay. And then I'm just going to take my glue stick. I don't know why I just put a lid on that. And Oh man, okay, listen. Stay, oh man, okay, hold on. <laughs> just wanna make sure I have this how I want it. Um, okay, that works. Now you stay. You come up and I'm just gonna tack this down just so I don't have this problem that I'm having right now where it's moving everywhere, like that. And then now that that's tacked down, I'll lift this up and add some glue behind. I know you can't see, but I'm just adding a little strip there so it's stuck. So now this is attached. This flower isn't attached yet, but I will do that later. I might just leave it like that because it kind of gives it a little bit of dimension with it poking up just a little bit like that. That's really not that bad. Okay, so now I have this donut and I was gonna set it behind like so. So I have my cup and my dodo. How do I want my dodo? I think I'll have it go like that. And I was kind of thinking, I wonder if I want to cut this off and then put like the half piece right here. Let me just kind of, because I feel like otherwise I'm kind of wasting a lot of this. Oops, I did not cut that straight. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Let's check this out. So let's put that behind how I liked it. Okay, I like that. And then my, what I was talking about was taking it now and like going like, like, like this, like there's more. Or I could go, you know what I mean? Like I was trying to see if I could add, I mean, I guess I could put, I mean, that's not really that bad, right? Like the donuts, they're coming out of every little, I wasn't planning on doing that, but I kind of like it. <laughs> so I think I'm going to, okay. So let's glue this piece down first. I mean, I might as well use it, right? Because that piece was just going to be glued behind the flower. So now I'm getting more use out of my image. Okay, let me just set this guy down again so I can put, let's see, I want this here, like that. Oop, I'm already getting glue on my hands. Oop, no, we need to go in a little bit. Okay, that's good. So let's put that down. Super cute. Okay. So I have this like so, and I want this right there. Or do I want it more? I did have it up here. I think I, okay. Let's just add some glue to this and then I can figure out where I want it to go. I think Zena's about to bless us with her presence. She didn't want to come in here with me when I came in here. Now she does, I hear her prancing around out there. Okay, so we have this one here. Let's just lift this up, tuck that in behind. This will need to go like that. Maybe I'll just do it like that. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, let's lift this back up. Oh yeah, she's gonna come in here now. <laughs> I 
Okay, now let's add glue to this fragile little item here. So when I'm gluing where there's all these like little tiny pieces that I don't want to rip off, I tend to hold my paper and then go away like this. So I'm going, instead of going this way, cause I don't want to tear it. So I'm just kind of, and I'm lifting up as I go. So I'm not dragging it and ripping it. And I'm making this difficult for myself because I have this lump right here. <laughs> But I just wanted to show you that real quick and in case you tend to, you know, rip your papers and stuff. Okay. And here she is. <laughs> she doesn't like airplane sound, so. Oh, then I start talking, so she ran away. <laughs> oh my gosh, my dog is such a weirdo. Okay. Hang on one second. Okay, so I do see that I got some glue there. Okay, that looks, oh no, I did not see that. Okay, so I'm gonna use my art glitter glue, which has nothing to do with glitter. That's what I thought it was for a long time. It's just really good glue and you can buy it with this fine tip nozzle. And I really like it because it's a very strong glue and it dries very fast. And this tiny little fine nozzle is a lifesaver. I cannot tell you how much of a lifesaver it is. I absolutely love it. I love this glue a lot. It's very firm hold. I mean, it's a quick, firm hold. Like it dries very fast. Okay. Now that I'm licking this and everything, gross. Okay, so. Put that away, don't need that anymore. Now I have this little spoon and I thought I would just kinda, you know, lay it on there like that. So let's put that on there. Let me get a clean piece of magazine sheet here. Okay. Boop. Perfect, perfect. You go away. Let's just put this. I don't know, I kind of like it half on, half off right there. I think it looks nice, real nice. Okay, so now that I have that, oh, I almost put my glue stick in my coffee cup. Yikes, okay. So now I wanted some quotes and let's see here. Do I want to do like a purple? Because that kind of coincides with that. I do have these pastel ones that I thought. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. I think I want to add that. Maybe I'll just add that right across the top here. No beauty shines brighter. There we go. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. Why do I feel like, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna let it go. And then, um, no beauty, why is that so wonky? I think it's this part that's wonky. You know what, it's stuck there, so it's just gonna have to be there. Okay, so no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart and choose to see the good stuff. I think that's what I'll use. Choose to see. Choose to see the good stuff. And yes, that's crooked, I know, but I'm gonna let it go. Um, I kinda wanted to add something up there. I wish I had a butterfly. I have one right here. I think I should just cut this out really quick. So let's just fussy cut this really quick. And I will use this butterfly. I really need to fuss, sit down and just fussy cut a bunch of stuff so I have things ready to go. I tend to kind of leave my books whole and then cut out what I need or want for the project I'm working on. 
but for like butterflies and stuff, I like to have those ready. So like um, the book that I tend to use the most for those are Keeley's books, the Vintage Butterflies and the Vintage Flowers. Those are two I would feel comfortable just cutting all the way up because I know I would use those all the time on stuff. So I might start working on that. Okay. The key component to fussy cutting is to move the paper, not your scissors. I mean, you obviously move your scissors a little bit, but I just move my paper as I'm pushing down on my scissors. Lots of airplanes today, my goodness. So there's my little butterfly. And I think I'll just put that, maybe I should, ooh, did you hear my stomach? Maybe I'll have it going that way, yes. Okay, so now we will glue this down. Oh, someone's going to town with the snoring. Bob has my husband, if you are been a part of my channel for any amount of time, he has his follow-up visit, visit today with his doctor from his surgery he had two weeks ago. So I'm curious to see how that goes and if he gets his stitches out and stuff. That'll be interesting. Okay, that's really cute. I mean, I could add some more stuff or... You know, I probably could have cut that in half instead of one big line, but I think this looks really cute. I like it. Okay, so the next one, I feel like some of you are going to like better than this one, and that is, and it's going to be a little bit more simplistic than this one. So I'm going to use this. This is from Keeley's book, um, Autumn and Fall, or what is it? Autumn Patterns and Papers. I'll show it to you. I'll put a link to these books in the description and in the comments section. I see a lot of people asking me for links that I've, that I've told you about that are also in the description box and I pin a comment. So if you're commenting in the comment section, the first comment you see should be mine with the links to this stuff. So definitely check that out. Okay, so let's turn, what do we have going on here? Okay, so that was the first page. So I wanna use another white page. Let's go to the second half of the book this time. Maybe I'll just go with the last page. Okay, so I'm going to glue this on here and I'm going to do it the same way I did it before. So let's just add that in there. So I'm just going along the edges. Okay. I'm gonna remove this and I glue this. I love this paper, it's so pretty. So originally I wanted like a galaxy background, but I think this is like galaxy with leaves. That's what it makes me think of. And you'll see why I'm saying that here in just a second. Okay, let's just give this a little fold. The wet, or the glue's a little wet, so. Let's just cut that off. And I'll keep these excess papers here. That's the other beauty about gluing on the page and not this paper is now this paper that's left over doesn't have glue on it. So I don't have to set it aside and wait for it to dry. I can just toss it right into my scrap paper bin. I have two scrap paper bins going currently. <laughs> and I, al I always go to my scrap paper bins first to look for papers. Okay, so there we go. Now we have that, that looks good. Let's give it another press. Make sure it's good to go. I had it bent a little bit while I was, let's re-bend that, there we go. Okay, that looks gorgeous, love it. Okay, so these are the images I want to use. Um, I wanna put it this way because I'm gonna cut off part of it and I don't wanna cut off the colory bits because, hello, that's the best part. And then I wanna put her right here. Oh my gosh, doesn't she just fit magnificently? Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, so that's what I wanna do. So I'm just gonna cut, actually no, I'll glue this down and then cut the top off. 
that's what I'll do. Okay, so actually it doesn't matter. I'll just glue the whole thing. Okay, and we're gluing. Okay, so let's go like that, right? I want her head to be over part of it. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay, turn that over and let's cut that off. Okay, save this, just put that upside down. I might want to use it on something. Okay, let's give this a press again. Just wanna make sure it's all good. Okay, and then let's put her down. And I wasn't gonna add much more just because I thought it just looked so beautiful on its own. And I've mentioned this quite a bit. I'm a pretty simplistic when it comes to art and stuff. I like very simple things. Um, I'm not always into clutter art. I don't mean that in like a negative way at all. Like I like seeing other people's, but when I make art, I like it to be more on the simplistic side. That makes sense. Sometimes less is more. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I can't even stand it. Okay. Okay, and then I just, her little curl is hanging over just a, hit, a little bit there. So let's cut that off. Okay, that is too cute. Oh, I love it. Doesn't that look good? Okay, so let me put a lid on here real quick. Let me grab my words. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. I kind of like that. Okay, so let's cut this up a little bit. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Boop. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put them on this side right here. So keep some room. I'm gonna make it kind of wonky because I'm getting stressed about them not being straight. So I'm gonna purposely make them not straight to make my brain feel better about the situation. <laughs> Listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, okay, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Okay, and then I need to cut this off. Okay, and then maybe I wanna add maybe another one down here. I like this. Darling, you are a work of art. She really is. So let's put, darling, you are a work of art. Darling, you are a good, make today count. Oh wait, how about be you bravely? There you go. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I almost feel like I do want a butterfly right there. I know I'm obsessed with butterflies, but I just think it's so pretty. But then I would cover that area right there. So maybe I don't want a butterfly. Ooh, okay. I think this is a sign. I just found this little butterfly and it's colorful. So I think I wanna cut this out really quick. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, so let's add this butterfly. Where do I want to add it? Do I just wanna have it like that? Do I want, oh, this middle part's bothering me. I'm gonna go in and cut it. So I'm gonna cut straight through. You won't be able to see that later because it'll go back to each other. I can't see, it's so tiny. Is it really necessary that I cut all these little bits out? No, but I want to, okay. Ah, get back, ah, oh, you little stinker, okay. Let's put that back together. Okay, so should I just put it like up there? Should I have it off her hair? 
like off this little curl or something like I don't like that I think maybe I'll just put it right there okay did I say right here I think I did oops We have a leg that did not get glue on it, or not a leg, but whatever this is, a wing, a little wang. Oh, not a wang, a wing. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed this today. I had a lot of fun with this. I think I will continue playing with this over the weekend and uh, maybe sometime next week. Next week, I will be doing a big random video as per requested by you guys so that'll be fun I worked on that yesterday with the glue crew and I had a blast it's been a while since I worked on big random so I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend if you wouldn't mind please hit that like button it's a great way to support me and my channel and don't forget to drink your water have a fabulous Friday and I will see you on Monday actually no I will see you tomorrow tomorrow I am doing a P.O. Box unboxing video. So if you've sent me anything to my P.O. Box, I will be opening it tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.